What's going on guys, my name is John, right now I'm going to be showing you how to get the perfect sliding achievement on Sliding Escape in Max the Curse of Brotherhood. Basically you're going to start out chapter 3, level 3, you're going to be running away from this dude right here and you got to make your way into this hole. In order to get this achievement, you got to complete this entire level without dying. It's really not that bad, it's just really repetitive and somewhat time consuming only because this part right here takes forever. This snail is so fucking slow and it all depends on him. So all you can do is wait and wait and wait. But after that, the hardest part is just staying alive, and it's really not even that bad. If you uh, if you repeat it a few times, you'll get the gist of it, and really won't have any problems. It took me probably three, three times to actually get this and do it without dying. Uh, the again, the hardest part is just waiting for this guy because he's so freaking slow. But then also it's kind of annoying because if you do die, then you have to completely restart the whole level and do this part all over again. So really, the only downfall of this is how time-consuming it can be. Just because this guy is so fucking slow. Look at him go. He's literally a snail. He's just a fucking snail. Alright, so he's going to come back this way. And then you're going to climb up this rope. Make sure you don't die here because that would be really pathetic if you died right here. Uh, he's going to come back this way. He's going to go right under you. And you can hop down right behind him. And then the big beastie thingy will punch him and get really upset. Cry to his mom. And then run away and all that shit. And then you can walk out of the cave and start climbing up this big rock pillar that we're building right here. And yep, you're going to jump up there. Continue on with the level a little bit. And uh, make sure you don't die right here either because that would also be very sad. Just build that little bridge. Don't fall into the spiky thorny thingies because they will drag you down to hell. And again, that would just be pathetic because that's not even a hard part. And just keep going and going and going. Beastie thingy will come back and you can keep sliding and keep sliding. And then basically just hold down forward on the thumbstick so you don't stop at all. So you don't slow down. Jump over any thorns or any holes that are in your way. Again, jump over the thorns. And then just keep going. Jump here. And you're going to have to do this. It's all in slow motion so it's nice and easy. And just build those pillars up. And then one more pillar. And then you should be good to go. Just keep going and going and going. Jump over the thorns. Jump over more thorns. And jump over the thorns. There's so many thorns and holes in the ground. Alright, then you can jump off again and go down this big slidey thingy, and there's some more thorns for you to jump over, and more thorns, and more thorns, and more thorns. <laughs> but now you can go down here, and you're going to fling off the end of here, and you're going to make a vine. Make sure you put it as close to you as possible. You'll land on it, start climbing straight up the vine as fast as possible so you don't run out of time, and then jump over to the right, and climb up this thing as fast as possible. You can see me struggling to get up here, and I thought I was going to die, because if this guy hits you, you are fucked, and you can just keep going, and now you get a little bit of head start, jump right there so you don't land in those vines, jump over that vine, and then jump, and you'll land in here, jump over the holes, and then it'll break, and you get to make yet another vine, put it as close to you as possible, make sure you jump right there off the vine at a good angle, if you hold on to it too long, you'll hit the top and you'll fall off and die, and if you don't hang on to it long enough, you'll fall off and die, anyway, but that's it, make sure you get all the way to the end here, don't move, just stay there, don't fall into the water or anything, because that would also be pathetic. But then it'll load up the next level, and then you should get the achievement. And bam, it is that easy. Peace, guys.